definitely start to feel the change in the season. Obviously I have a cold, so that's uh, telltale sign number one. Um, but the mornings are getting really cold. Um, not Washington cold, but cold. Garrett set our launch date for November 12th, which is his birthday. So he's really excited. Um, it's gonna be a good one, that's for sure. So we've kinda got like, what does that make it, like 10 days, nine days from now to uh, once again clear, clean up all of our stuff. We'd taken root again. In the boatyard, our limbs stretched out. Garrett took charge, moving 10,000 boxes. Tools, spares, gear, and life. While I layered up Red Aviva's bottom paint. Our launch date was on the books, and we planned to keep that date. Coat after coat, until the last drop of the four gallons of bottom paint we broke the bank to purchase was gone. Red Aviva's had regular baths throughout the summer months, but she's thirsty and craving something salty. It's time to submerge these handprints below sea level. Three years, three months, and 20 days ago, they were cast. We started in Washington State, over 600 miles north. Every morning started with the generator. At one time, Red Aviva was no more than lines on paper. All right, so here's the first layer. There's a boat in there. Good morning, Swab. We got our screws, which means we're one step closer to planking. First time we need to shake off the shed. Walking to the boat right now. It's cold. My beard is literally freezing. This end is going into that knot. Yeah. So I don't do well with not being productive. And this is one of the days that, uh, that I'm laid up in bed. <laughs> Look at the bubbles. Oh, it's probably getting all the love. It's probably why you look so dopey. Stop moving. <laughs> Garrett is desperately trying to finish the very last chine plank. I want to show off the last chine plank there. Voila! I haven't been doing a very good job.
We'd been staring at the launch ramp for a year. Being a stone's throw away, it taunted us, motivating us to pick up the pace. Runner, going out. That's my girl. Yeah. Time to weld some stuff. How's it going to my sticky tar queen? Launching soon. The thoughts that got us there? One day we'll be floating in the tropics. And I'll be drinking a margarita. And it'll be awesome. And I won't be wearing these boots anymore. Because it'll be warm. I had to show you. I couldn't tell you what a whirlwind the last three and a half years have been, leading up to today. What you doing? Putting vendors on the bow. Our space was clear, our stuff packed away. Four coats top side, three coats bottom, bulwark posts in, cabin modification complete, rudder hung. Our work in the Napa boatyard is done. Bilge pump plumbed, temporary tiller secured, and using the first hole for the chain plates, a come along affixed our masts on board. Garrett was ready. Swab waited patiently. The fenders prepared. It was the hour to shake off the cobwebs and float this boat. Cheers, everybody! Surrounded by exceptional people and the outstanding generosity and kindness of others, Blue, Captain Ron, Bob and Joan Pfeiffer, our patrons, and you, we are launching today. Out the way, Swab. Come on. Swap. Move. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. The pads were dripping from the last boat to splash, and we were next.
We painted where the blocks once were, waiting for my dad to arrive. Let's get this on Garrett's dad carved her nameplate years ago, and sailors being superstitious find it bad luck to launch a boat without a name. Now we were ready.
Only wooden boat ever launched in Napa Valley Marina. It didn't take on water. <laughs> You see it weeping? Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's definitely a place where I expected to leak from. But just a couple of them are weeping a oh, little yeah. bit. That's kind of cool. I mean, she's all bone dry, so. Yeah. We'll just let her keep filling up. I mean, it'll just help her swell faster. We never even checked off bottom paint. Oh, well done. <laughs> bottom paint. And uh, launch. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> not much up there? No. Actually, Pretty now much that I think about it, that's not even in the water because she's floating so high. Yeah. Funny, she seems to be leaking more starboard than port. Well, that's their sunny side, huh? True, yeah, that makes perfect sense, derp. Derp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it going in a shock? Yeah, it <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Right. Well, yeah. Started off by pouring one for Poseidon. And then, actually, we're gonna pour another one over for George Bueller. <laughs> we never got to meet him, but he was, uh, he designed this boat. So, pour one for George Bueller. Our hearts were heavy with his passing. We christened Red Viva in Bourbon, a tribute to George Bueller. She's a result of his backyard boat building mythology. <laughs> so, we're gonna pour one Red Viva. Ready, Viva! <laughs> 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 last one's us. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yes! Yay! <laughs> 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 I don't remember what I said. The whole day was a bit stunning, overpowered with emotion, but the toast was for us. Have you come to whisk us away? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Well, yeah. You on the tiller? Okay. Until I jump on the boat, I'm gonna be down here. Okay. When I jump on, I'm gonna jump on the tiller. Okay. We got Grandpa coming. Maiden voyage. <laughs> you're going. You're going to Mexico. Uh, great. Yeah, she does. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna just pull her around the corner One, here. Two. Okay. Great. And then Ruth, I'll give her a uh, beautiful. <laughs> Over on port. Okay. Hey, we're doing good. Um, maybe you just don't flatten it out that much. That's good, Ruth. Alright, it's probably good on the throttle. How's the bell? <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. All 
Got a Got a Got a Got a Ten feet on the bow. This is a first maneuver, Gary. Don't hit anything. Yeah. <laughs> so let me know how we're looking over there. I'm just gonna bow. Still got a little wave coming around. All right, hard over the other side, Ruth. <laughs> switch the uh, switch the line. All right, Teddy, you want to? Ruth, pull that yep. line off. Yeah. Pull that line up off the seat. Uh -huh. And swap it over to the other side. Teddy, can spin it around the corner. Perfect. Looking good. She's ready for you. All right, forward. You ready for some forward away? Yeah. Or back river? Full speed ahead. Yeah. The day was smoky, with the surrounding areas on fire, but there was a spark at the dock. Our spirits burned bright, bound by the warmth of those around us. We can't thank Tiffany and Tyler enough, for when the excitement finally caught up to us, they told us it was okay to go to bed and they'd take care of the rabble. It's a gentle swell out of the southwest. Well, it's just <laughs> no, it's just a furry for San Francisco. <laughs> it's just so weird to feel the boat. <laughs> Have we had to pump out any water yet? No. None. 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 She's mainly only leaking on the, the starboard side, the sunny side, well, where she was dried out a, a bunch. Well, you're going to get some water. I mean, there's no way not to get oh, yeah. some. But, it's, but just to... Nothing. It's yeah. nothing. I mean, I just was looking at the all the the films the other night, and uh -huh. just looking at the stages. Yeah. And I'm thinking, there's no way in hell that you can get more than five gallons of water in that thing. It's just no way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a little. It's it's incredible. Gary, so we heard that there were tacos when we got to the dock. Is that true or false? Oh, definitely true. <laughs> So we're about to start a little potluck barbecue with friends and family and the boats and the water. Hey! You guys wanna hang out? That's our boat over there. <laughs> Look at that boat. Doing what a boat do. All right, <laughs> food. I'm, I'm hungry. No more whiskey until I get some food. Food. <laughs> time, time to eat some food. <laughs> You're excited. This is I am. Day. I'm so excited.
<laughs> One, two, three, water, Bruno. <laughs> Look at that. She has made contact.